Good morning, good afternoon and good evening. So today I got Galaxy Note 20 Ultra Exynos chipset and I have installed the updated and stable GSI ROM on this mobile phone. The face unlocking is working perfectly but there is no fingerprint unlocking and uh, we can use the other unlocking uh, options. So this is basically the stable version of the Voltage OS. Let me go to About Phone. Voltage OS having Android 15. This is model number of my mobile phone that current I got and it is having Android 15. The Voltage OS version is 4.2. The build status if you can see an official version by the developer name. I apologize that I am getting the lines on my mobile phone. Actually the LCD panel is very expensive of this mobile phone but I can't afford it. This GSI is the stable and updated version which is performing faster than One UI. The battery timing with this ROM on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra is fabulous. We are getting modification section which name Power Hub. If you go here, we can modify the ROM the way we like. It have a tons of modifications and options provided over here. We can go to the theme section and we change if we want something, we can do that. We got lock screen uh, options over here also. And this is what the last thing that we can see. Now check out the control center. If you have ever used the AOSP ROM, there the control center will not be having this type of uh, widgets or blocks. But this one is having a different type of widgets or in block shape. This is the control center and also the notification center. Yes, the flashlight is working. Well, the AOSP ROM always be faster than the stock firmware or stock ROM. After flashing, definitely you will see that there is no lagging using the ROM on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. This is the GSI ROM. Yes, you can flash on any mobile phone, but it will boot or not that I cannot confirm. But I have flashed this ROM on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra and Galaxy A73 working perfectly. Yes, you can see that. The ROM is coming with the default Google applications. We don't have to install the caps separately because the Google application is pre-installed with the ROM. You can straight away log in your Gmail account and you can start downloading applications from the Play Store like straight away. This ROM is coming pre-rooted. After flashing the ROM, we can just tap the Magis version and it will get downloaded if the internet is connected and the ROM will be rooted. We can enjoy installing the modules for with the Magis application and those who do not like to have a root, they can just uninstall the Magis application straight away after flashing the ROM. These are the few apps that coming default with the ROM and those applications you can see that downloaded from the play store the camera application is the particular one aosp camera and the camera is working fine the rear camera and the front camera yes you can record videos and we can take pictures well these are the pictures that taken by this aosp camera well i have read on the forum that this rom is having sound issue recording videos with this AOSP camera. In case if you want to know how to install the GSI updated latest ROM Android 15 on your Samsung mobile phone or any other mobile phone. Right now I got Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. So I will show how to flash the GSI updated ROM on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. As you know that if you want to get the custom or GSI ROM on your mobile phone you need to have an unlock bootloader of your mobile phone. So link provided in my video description. This website will get open and you can read Voltage OS 4.2 and yes the updates are getting released. Well I have downloaded this particular file. Voltage OS with gaps ARM64 AB 4.2. I have already downloaded the files in my downloaded folder and uh, I have got right now Galaxy Note 20 Ultra so that is why I have downloaded the Odin Pack 
current my mobile phone model number is n985f you need to check your mobile phone model then download the custom recovery accordingly and yes we have to download the audit file because i am draw, trying to flash the voltage os gsi rom on this samsung mobile phone if you have any other model you need to go according to the model that the one that you have so extract the audit file in same folder then extract the voltage os rom, rom file in same folder and if you open the extracted folder of the rom yes we got the system image file over here dot img we'll go back then we'll double click to open the extracted folder of the odin and double click the odin to open it click ok on this particular pop-up window and then on odin click any slot i will go for the ap then i will go to my downloaded folder and i will double click the odin pack tar file to select well, as I mentioned before that the mobile phone must be having an unlock bootloader. There are a few things that we have to do before starting the procedure. And that is you need to check the mobile phone battery. It must be charged and you need to save all the internal storage data. Otherwise, the data will get formatted. And your mobile phone is supposed to be on latest stock firmware. Like uh, if you have updated your mobile phone once to the latest stock firmware, and if you in case if you are having any custom rom doesn't matter the rom will get flash but your mobile phone is supposed to be taking the updated stock firmware once in case if you are having one ui and if you have login your samsung account sync your samsung account remove it must remove it otherwise we will get issues flashing the custom recovery and uh, same way sync your google account then must remove it to avoid issues later on then go to security and privacy and uh, turn off the screen lock by selecting the swipe then all the things simply power of the mobile phone computer and data cable requires check the uh, data cable other side must be connected with computer use a good quality of data cables for transferring or flashing we have to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. So press and hold the volume up key, volume down key. Connect the cable with the mobile phone. A warning screen will get appears. Release both keys immediately. This is the screen from where you can go to the other screen to unlock the bootloader. My mobile phone bootloader is already unlocked. So I will press the volume up key once to boot the mobile phone into Odin mode. This is the Odin mode screen of my mobile phone. Mobile phone booted into Odin mode. Now coming back towards the computer screen. Well, the Odin detected the mobile phone. I have installed already the Samsung Android USB driver on my Windows. On the Odin, go to the options and take the auto reboot. Go back to log. Then click start to start flashing the Odin pack recovery file on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. When you see pass message means that done. Exit the Odin. Go back to download it folder. Yes, the mobile phone still booted into Odin mode because I have an, uh, unticked the auto reboot. Now we have to boot the mobile phone into custom recovery from the Odin mode. Press and hold the volume up key, volume down key and power key. All three keys at same time. When mobile phone restart, release the volume down key first okay then do not release both keys when samsung logo appears release the power key now wait the mobile phone will boot into twrp you can release the volume up key now and you definitely you will see the twrp screen soon on the mobile phone we got the pitch black recovery well i apologize i said twrp but this is actually pitch black recovery that currently installed on my mobile phone and the internal storage pop up on my uh, windows or computer screen i will double click to open the internal storage yes the folders that with having a names is not in the proper name all the folders having very different type of names which means that the storage got encrypted we have to decrypt the storage first on the recovery screen tap the wipe here then tap format data and type y es over here then tap here 
when done then go back to main screen tap this power button over here and tap reboot to recovery we got the pitchback recovery back and the internal storage also got appears on my computer screen now go to your downloaded folder and call, open the extracted folder of the voltage os then copy the image file the img file from the from the downloaded folder and uh, go to your internal storage of your mobile phone open it then paste the file in, on the internal storage of the mobile phone while the procedure of copying the files will take a time so we have to wait here file got copied on my uh, mobile phone so i am done from the computer right now disconnect the cable from the mobile phone then unlock the screen of the custom recovery and swipe to unlock then tap install and uh, definitely you will see the newly copied file on your internal storage of the mobile phone tap to select the file then scroll down and select by the select system image by putting a tick sign over here and then swipe to start flashing it won't take that much time and yes it is done now go back go back again to main screen tap wipe tap format data type yes over here then tap here when it is done then simply tap reboot system the mobile phone will stay on the logo for little long then it will start fly, uh, booting to the voltage os rom and uh, this is the gsi android 15 that was a very quick boot the first boot completed now i will complete the setup screen finally the flashing procedure done the uh, display size is little small so we have to make the display size little big so it can fit on the galaxy note 20 ultra we'll go to display then we'll go to display size and tax over here and i will tap the plus sign once and if i tap again yeah this one is much better for the galaxy note 20 ultra i will bold the text also then i will go back to settings now it is looking much better than before okay so i got the rom and i will tap the about device this is what i got right now voltage os android 15 my model number of my mobile phone voltage os version is 4.2 the build status you can see that well uh, the gsi rom is got flash and got uh, uh, booted finally on the galaxy note 20 ultra and i will try to flash this mobile this rom on another other devices also will bring the video thank you so much for watching do not forget to like the video do not forget to subscribe also we'll see you in my next video until then goodbye